In this video, I want to show you how to fix a little issue that when you're connecting to SQL Server database from Visual Studio and it's not shown in your list of servers. So you probably have a, a form that you want to connect to um, your database. So you go to the data sources window, you click add new data source. Where are you getting data from? Yeah, the database. Where is it going to? So in Visual Studio, to load the information to data set. So next. Now there's nothing here because you haven't connected to a database yet. So you click on the new connection button. Yes, I want to connect um, to SQL Server and hit on continue. And now this drop down here, when you click it, there's nothing there already because it's the first time connecting and then it will go off and it will search for a list of available servers. It comes back eventually with um, nothing there. So it's not possible to connect to a database because it doesn't see any of the servers. So the solution for that is to put a full stop, a dot in that list. And what that does, it says connect to the current server on my machine. And now you can change authentication there. SQL Server authentication is where you need a login set up in SQL Server. Windows authentication, it will use the login that you've accessed or logged onto your machine when you opened it up. Um, it'll use the same credentials there. So that's what will work for me. And now this drop down here, all your databases that you have in SQL Server are now available and you can carry on. And that is how to fix that issue there when no server name comes up. Just pop a full stop in there and then the available databases will appear down the bottom.